there's been a lot of talk lately about banning Arceus Dialgapalkia, not because it's the greatest card ever or even the best deck ever with Zacian, but because it's the most oppressive deck ever. With a 2 energy altar creation GX, which you can do on turn 1 thanks to energy switch and metal saucer and turbo patch, you do 30 extra damage for the rest of the game and take an extra prize card for each knockout. Basically, this one card, this one attack, makes games last 3-4 to four turns, and new single prize decks cannot enter the meta unless you can knock, knock this thing out right away or resist it, so that's pretty much Baby Blacephalon, Decidueye, and maybe Mad Party, and maybe Spiritomb, and that is it. Stage 2 decks, uh, they have an impossible time. The reason for that is because if you're playing a single prize deck, your deck should only take, or your deck should take at least 6 turns to lose, and with ADP, now it only takes four turns, and that's only if you don't play cards like Dedenny or Crobat, and odds are you're playing Dedenny or Crobat to help just stop yourself from breaking. And the thing about evolution decks and stage two decks is you need that turn to evolve, so if you're taking a guaranteed turn to evolve your Pokemon, the four turns it takes ADP to use Alter Creation and take three knockouts, you eliminate that Alter Creation turn, so they need to take three knockouts to win, and you need to take three knockouts to win, and that has to be an ADP and most likely two Zations. So if your single prize deck with evolutions cannot knock out an ADP and then two Zation V, you do not stand any chance of beating this deck. With that in mind though, personally I don't think ADP needs to be banned, and with the Zation V lead battle deck in November, it's a guarantee that it won't happen anytime soon. I just think they made a mistake with something like Channeler. Channeler should have been like Pokemon Ranger, where you just remove, you know, the effect of a GX attack, but unfortunately Channeler is remove all effects of attacks on you and each of your Pokemon, so you can play Channeler and remove the effects of Altered Creation, but your opponent can't play Channeler and do it. They would have to play Pokemon Ranger, but Pokemon Ranger doesn't exist in Standard, so I just think they made a mistake with Channeler and it should have just been a better card. Or there's something like Latios GX, the Clear Vision GX, it should have been for a colorless, for the rest of this game, your opponent can't use any GX attacks, so that would be great, and it would also be great if Power Bind wasn't its ability, if you have four or fewer Pokemon in play, this Pokemon can't attack. So imagine if Latios didn't have an ability, and Clear Vision could be used for colorless energy, all of a sudden ADP can't really do anything, it has to go second, it has to get that turn one alter creation, otherwise your opponent can just put Latios down, in any deck besides Eternatus and just stop your GX attack, but unfortunately Latios is a tad disappointing in that arena. But that is all just speculation and opinion and talk. Today in this video with this list, I'll see if I can show it off, get rid of the... I just put the Channeler and the Latios in there to talk about. So this is the 60 card list, I'll put it down below. I play the extra water energy because because prizes. I should probably play 4 energy switch and more catcher effects, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. For now, I'm going to take it online and kind of show you why ADP is talked about in such a negative way. Alright, so I won the coin flip. I will decide to go first. I think you just always want to go first with this deck. Oh, not with this hand. But I think going first is just the smart thing to do. I never get the turn one altered creation going second, and this might just be a mirror match. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll... No, I probably should play it safe. Uh, no, let's, let's not play it safe. Let's just go for it. I will... I mean, I can Dedenny next turn. I can Intrepid Sword, probably get one Dedenny next turn. I'll probably get Marnie. You know what? Let's, let's try it this way. And... Okay, so if I would have Dedenny, I would have gotten Quick Ball, Water, Energy, Chaotic Swell. I mean, as long as they don't Marnie me, this was a great decision. Oh, well, that's why you don't go... That's why you don't do what I did. Okay, but they're just getting into Denny, so they probably have a really bad hand. And that's why you attach to the bench, that's why you don't go first, is just in case you're playing a Welder deck. I would assume that it's Mewtwo and Mew, but the Stoop Up Net... Well, no, the Cherish Ball says Mewtwo and Mew. The Stoop Up Net says Jirachi, so this might be Jirachi with Mewtwo and Mew and Welder. Which is... I mean, I have Win on board right now. You know, if I was confident that I could get the turn one altered creation every single time going second, I would go second 100% of the time. But it just never happens for me. My opponents always get it. They always get that turn one altered creation. Personally, I never get it. It just never happens. But yeah, in terms of me winning, I knock out to Denny, I knock out to Denny, and that's it. 
And that's basically how ADPization stays relevant in this post-rotation format, you know, at the top. It, it's always going to be relevant up until the moment ADP rotates. This will always be relevant. But for it to win more tournaments, it has to just knock out Dedeni, Dedeni, or Crobat, Crobat. And that is unfortunate. So what I need is an energy switch. How many do I have? I have one. So I prized two energy switch. That is super duper unfortunate. That is literally the heartbeat of the deck right here. So my options are definitely limited. I can't just knock out this to Denny, but I think I should still go for it. They can knock out ADP. There is the Flare Blitz. They can knock it out. That is really tough. I don't want a Pokemon catch or anybody. I just want to do Denny and hope I get that energy switch. And no, but I can potentially get a research and just lose all my switch in the process. Okay, well, I'm down to one switch, one energy switch. I still have a Crobat if I need it, and that is not going to help. Okay, but I can put this hound down to pretty much nothing. I'm not going to be able to ultimate ray for anything, though. Okay, so Zamazenta, I'll put you down. I will ditch the Metal Energy. I will... Okay, so I do have Crobat. I'll get rid of the Duraludon, and I just have just all the energies down in there. Okay. And then I'll get Crobat, so just need the one energy switch. This is why I play three copies of water energy. You just, you always prize what you need. And no, even after all of that. Okay, but they do have a tough start on their side of the field, so I think, I mean, I still need that energy switch. I got rid of all my energy. Uh, I can get the Mawile, I guess. I won't really need that. They already have two to Denny down. The, the main draw for the Mawile is the ability Captivating Wink. And, oh, the next card was Energy Switch. Are you... Well, I, I cherish ball, but you know what I mean. The next card was Energy Switch. That's kind of mean. The, the main draw with Mawile is when you play it from your hand, you can just pull down a Denny or a Crobat, and you don't activate the ability, so it's really good. And I do have the one copy of Turbo Patch. But yeah, for ADP to be relevant at the top, this post-rotation... You have to slow down Eternity's VMAX long enough to use Alter Creation, then just bring up two to Denny or two Crobat and you win. Do that, and this is easily the best deck around. You know, because of that prize manipulating ability, ADP will always keep single prize decks from being mainstream, especially stage two single prize decks. Those those unfortunately just don't really have a place. Decidui is the obvious exception because it's immune to ADP, it's immunization. But stage two decks just have such a tough time because of this thing, you know, aside from Blacephalon, Decidui, and maybe Spiritomb, there isn't much in the way of single prize decks, and obviously Mad Party, but those rely pretty heavily on really fast starts, and if you don't get it, you're probably just going to lose, but I, I would throw Mad Party in there. But aside from those four single prize decks, the creativity just can't be there with single prizers because of all their creation. But obviously with this build, I'm trying to focus on beating Eternatus. The cool thing is, is if they have a Dark City down, Crobat V gets free retreat, so I really like that. And yeah, the two hammers, they just help you beat Eternatus VMAX. You slow it down. It helps in the mirror match as well, just by bumping a water energy, just making the alteration that much more difficult. And they are taking a very long time here. And all they grabbed was a Reshiram and Charizard. I did originally have a Jirachi build of this deck. But I played that in a tournament. I started the Denny first, uh, my first game. I top decked it at Denny. I played it. I got a hand full of energy switch and energy. I researched and I still couldn't get an altered creation until turn five. And then the following game, I altered creation on turn four. You know, Jirachi wasn't entirely to blame for that build of the deck and the slowness of the deck. But just if you take out Jirachi, if you take out Scoop Up Net, then you have room for. Zamazenta, you have room for Mawel, you have room for Milotic, you have room for just so many other things. And of course the Duraludon to beat. Oh, that's really good. Okay, well I guess I should Turbo Patch first. And of course not. Okay, so I'll just put the Metal Energy there and... So I will switch it up. 
I do want to keep that one copy of Switch, though. And I will still alter creation, right? Because, yeah, I still think it makes sense to alter creation. Because I'm going to need the Switch if I ultimate ray. I think I just have to assume that they're not going to get Welder and the Charizard and discard the, the Charizard. Because I think that's the only thing that they can use. Because they won't have enough to use Double Blaze. They need six Fire Energy. They only have two. They can't get four on it this turn. So they're just hunting that Charizard GX. They'll have to use Evolution and Sensor Cherish Ball to get it. And that's not going to do it. So, I mean, if they can't knock out ADP this turn, then I, I don't really know how they can come back from this. You know, ADP is not the best deck in the format. I will admit that. It is just, it is consistently really, really good. And because of that, it keeps so many decks from challenging it. And I, there we go. Okay, wow, they play Great Catcher. I don't play Great Catcher. So they just, and that's why I kept the Switch. You keep the Switch for that reason. And that is, that is just the worst. Okay. I mean, I only have 15 cards left in my deck, so I may as well just go for it. The end of this game is going to ramp up real quick here. I have Pokemon Catcher, so if I knock out to Denny here, no. Well, let's see if I can Crushing Hammer or Fire Energy. I do. Okay. I'll take that. And I guess I'll just Ultimate Ray and put some energy on the Zation if there's any energy left in my deck. And so the... That will go there, and then I don't think I'll be attacking with Zambazenta at any point, so I'll just put an energy onto Denny so I can retreat it if I need to. And yeah, maybe I should play Great Catcher instead of, you know, one Pokemon Catcher, one Great Catcher, just so I would have been able to bring up the Dedenny. I have bosses, I have bosses the Dedenny, and I win. But at this point, if I just knock out the Mewtwo and Mew or the Reshizard, I win, so it's not that big of a deal. And the Big Charm. Yes, that is in the deck. I used to have two Cape of Toughness. I swapped it out for one Cape and one Charm because 300 damage is... It's pretty much Mewtwo and Mew's sweet spot. It can't hit 310 without a Zigzagoon, so just it just makes their life that much tougher. Okay, so they're putting me to sleep. If I flip heads... Where is it? There it is. Burn, oh, I'm burned and confused, so I can retreat. Oh, that's fine. They used their GX attack to not really do a whole lot. And I'm doing 260 to them. There's the Metal Saucer, so I can... I mean, clearly they want to attack with somebody, so I have to save the bosses. I have to Metal Saucer to my other Zation. I think that's the smart move. Attach there. I will... Oh, hang on, i got to put the air balloon on you. Retreat. I'll retreat off the... I don't think it really matters because I already have the energy in there, so I'll just get rid of that. Uh, does it really matter which Zation I attack with? Not really. I will put the big charm there, though. And... Oh, energy spinner. Let me guess, I have a boss is left. That always happens. So my hand is great, or my, my deck is great, and I'll just get rid of that. So if they Marnie me, it's impossible. You know, if they Marnie me, I, I don't lose, which is good. But, oh, actually, I, I don't have enough energy to win the game. Oh, I have the Metal Saucer, that's right. So if I just survive long enough, I can use the Metal Saucer, and I win. But I wasn't really paying attention to my energy. I was just paying attention to this. That was that was a mistake. But they can't use Flare Strike two turns in a row, so they're just going to use Outrage. They have had horrible draws this entire game. I'll just put the ADP up front. Metal Saucer? No, that's a Marnie. So if I Marnie, I lose. So I can't do that. I can Intrepid Sword, and I don't lose. So let's do that. All right, so if they, as long as they don't do anything crazy, I win. And you should definitely be paying closer attention 
because I was not paying attention to my energy and I could be just out of this game and that would be bad. Okay, there's just bumping my swell. And I think I'm gonna win. I think my win probability is probably like 75% because they can't use Flare Strike again. They've already GX. They can use Outrage or they can retreat into somebody. But I have two bosses. It always happens. I either research into Denny my bosses at the very beginning of the game or I see my bosses, they're in the bottom eight cards of my deck and I, I just can't get them until the very end of the game. It's, it's literally what always happens. I don't know what it is with this deck, but I never see the bosses when I need them. And Muck and Alola and Muck. Unfortunately, they have already, they've already GX'd. That's why I question the decision of Crimson Flame Pillar, just because it is like the worst GX attack in the entire deck. And that is a well played, as long as I don't misclick here. And there you go. And that's why ADP is so good. I'm taking four prizes on a Pokemon that should only give up three prizes. And Brave Blade. Four game. So that was a pretty good first game. I whiffed the altar creation. It happens. There's my energy switches. There's my energy. There's a Dedenny. And I can't see their deck list, but that was a pretty good game one, except for my uh, nonchalantly playing the game. Uh, let's go to game two, and hopefully I can get a really quick alter creation off. All right, so I lost the coin flip. They decided to go first. This is... I mean, I can make this work, but... Okay, no, I can make it work. I can put ADP in the active, and oh, this could be unfortunate for them. They're... what? They got a psychic. What? What am I playing? This could be interesting. This isn't Bird Trio. No, it wouldn't be Bird Trio because there's Psychic Energy and I won't go for the win. I could just go for the win where I do a whole bunch of things. But I will not do that. I will go for the Altered Creation strategy and hopefully I'll show you why this deck just destroys Stage 2. Just destroys Stage 2 decks. Okay, so yeah, I just want to get the one. I'm totally getting an Energy Switch. So I will switch into Zacian, Metal Saucer, the Denny. I still have my Supporter and hopefully Crobat. Should have checked to see if I have Crobat. And there's Energy Switch and that's pretty much just game over right there. Like, I, Is there anything they can even do at this point? I don't think so. I mean, if I, if I whiff an Energy or something, then yeah. But I'll alter Creation. So I just need to take three knockouts and I win, and they're playing a stage two deck. Oh, is it Butterfree Obstagoon? So that would be kind of funny. There's a Marnie. That's exactly what I wanted. That's why I didn't play the Cape of Toughness, because I wanted them to think that I had something good. You know, maybe Marnie was their only... Oh, jeez. Oh, and they just gave it to me. But that was a great hand, because I could have just used Ultimate Ray, taken a knockout. And it was Garchomp and Giratina. That's interesting. So they used the Butterfree to put the energy into play. And yeah, they're probably just trying something out. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? I will... You know, I'll save that for later. But for now, I'll go on to game three. All right, so I won the coin flip. And because my luck today with getting that turn one creation is so poor, I will choose to go first. And this is... a pretty good hand. I can definitely Cherish Ball, the Denny. I can do a whole bunch of things. Oh, that is not who I want up front, that's for sure. So I will Air Balloon, and yeah, this is why sometimes you want to go second, but you can't always predict that, right? So I'll Cherish Ball, see what I got. I got the Denny. I have the Mawile. They already have a Victini down, so that's really good. I think I will ditch that. Do I go and get my Lodic? I don't even have my Lodic. Oh, the, the only reason you're in this deck, my Lodic, is for this matchup. And you decided not to show up today. Okay, so I'll just get Zation V. I think I will Crobat. I'll, I'll bet you right now I'm gonna get two bosses off this Crobat. 100% two bosses. Oh, zero bosses, all right. Well, let us go for the Turbo Patch. Hey, there you go. Put that there. And I'll attach that one. 
there, and we'll go for it. It's always a good uh, good omen when you flip heads on that. Oh, okay. So I will put that there. I'll retreat into ADP, and I will probably Intrepid Sword with this one. But I guess I should try and spread it out if I can. And yeah, spreading it out is the good plan here. And the Cape of Toughness does make a little bit of difference because Volcanion can one-shot the Zation V with high heat blast. It does 220 with the weakness, so you put a Cape of Toughness on it and suddenly it doesn't get knocked out. But their whole game plan is having that one turn to set up and they've given me the win. Okay, they're smart. Well, okay. But why did they bench the Eldegoss? They bench the Eldegoss just to get more? I do not agree with that. Oh dear, they are in a tough position, so they're just going to probably put... So they're definitely preparing for a heat play. They'll probably spread it out. They probably won't put it all on Victini. That would just be a poor decision. Okay, yeah, that's that's a smart move there. And no, okay. So I need the water energy. I guess I should... I guess there's no reason not to do that. And oh, I can't I can't attach. That would be just the worst decision. So, what's my saucer count? Okay, I have no energy in the discard. I have to go for it. Please get me a water energy. Most lists are playing two water energy. I play three. And you're seeing the reason why because stuff like that happens and I'm not worried about getting knocked out. The only way they can knock me out is with a Heatran, and if they knock me out with Heatran, that's actually totally fine with me. They'll have to put a Heatran into play, put two energy into play with Welder. There's Senti Storch, that is totally fine. But if they come up with Heatran and take a knockout, I do not care in the slightest. They can do that all day long, and I do not care. Because I will take three prizes, and then I just have to knock out one of their back Pokemon. And what I'll do is I'll knock out the Crobat if my hand stays the same. I'll just energy switch up to the ADP, knock out the Crobat, and then I just have to knock out one of these things. If I had... Oh, there's the bosses. Okay, that seems a little greedy. But I guess, you know, what, what was their other option, right? So I'll bosses the Crobat. Hey, there's a big charm. That is great. Bosses the Crobat. I really wish I had that Milotic, but of course my Milotic decides not to show up today. And I probably want to hold the Pokemon Catcher. I do play a Tool Scrapper. So if they bosses my Z, well they can't bosses my Zation and knock it out, so that's fine. And I will just put, put the Water Energy probably here. And two on the Zation. I haven't done the math, but I think Victini can knock out the Zation. Just as is. And if that happens, I'm not in a great position. And no, no Milotic. Literally the single reason Milotic is in this deck is to deal with Senti Storch VMAX. And what happens when Milotic is not only prized, but in the final, you know, in the back half of your prizes, is that you pretty much just lose. Oh dear, but something I haven't talked about is in a recent tournament they actually banned ADP. You know, it just opens up the field for more experimental decks. I like that, and it was actually Santa Conda that won because everyone was playing Eternatus. The best counter to Eternatus is Santa Conda, and Santa Conda has a horrible matchup against ADP because it's a stage two setup deck. You just need to take two knockouts on a Santa Conda. And they're just trying to survive right here, so I think that'll be game. I just have to Pokemon Catcher, one of their back Pokemon, and that's it. But I definitely agree with the decision to ban ADP for, you know, one of the online tournaments. It's not a permanent ban. <laughs> the Pokemon Company is not going to ban ADP anytime soon. But by a tournament-by-tournament -tournament basis, they did it. It opened up the field for a brand new... Well, I mean, it's not a brand new deck, but it's a deck that hadn't won before. It won because ADP was gone. And what are they doing here? Reset stamp, okay. And okay, so my options here aren't great, but I guess if I, I mean, they can't take, oh, pff, what? how about you just top deck everything you need? 
And that is why sometimes I think it is a great idea to play more catcher effects. No, I mean, I just beat Senti Storch, and I didn't even have my loader the whole game. And the whole reason it is in the deck is for this one specific matchup. And it was my final prize. And I also play Tool Scrapper to bump things like Big Charm and Cave of Toughness. And that was, that was prize too, and I still won. They play the Wondrous Labyrinth. So I think if you want to make the list better, you can go with something like Viridian Forest. That just helps it become more consistent getting those three water energy because as you saw I can prize one very easily I can prize energy spinner I can prize two energy switch four energy switch is a good idea a viridian force is a good idea more catcher effects is a good idea I think the problem with bosses orders is that you can't research and bosses in the same turn so maybe a great catcher I think if you want you can cut the mobile you can cut the mylotic the duraludon if you're worried about decidui then you need the Duraludon. I think Zamazenta, this can just put you in an auto-win scenario against Eternatus. And if it's not auto-win, at least you buy yourself a turn or two while they try to build up a Spiritomb or a Sableye. So I definitely think Zamazenta should stay, but again, case-by-case -case basis. Maybe add another Crobat, because if you prize Crobat, then you can't Dedenny and Crobat in the same turn. The Rangaroo from Sword and Shield base set, that helps with Intrepid Sword. You know, Intrepid Sword, you attach, ener you attach energy from the top three cards of your deck. If you can get it, a Rangaroo can put an energy card from your hand onto the top of your deck. So the synergy is there. And I guess if you do need an attacker, you can, what is it, Wap Down? You can use Wap Down if you absolutely need to. But I'll put the list in the description. It is consistent. It gets me tons of wins. I have won you know, 10, 10 of my last 15 tournaments with this deck, or I've at least made it to the finals. It is really good. ADP is insanely good. Zation V is the perfect partner. Does ADP deserve to be banned? I will say no. But again, I just wish they put Pokemon Ranger or something in the format. Or if they just made ADP slightly less good, you know, it has 280 hit points. It has a really good first attack. The GX attack is insane. They just made the card, I think, way too good. They should have cut it down to like 240 hit points. Maybe ultimate rate is 100 damage, but you know, it's here. It's going to be really good until it rotates in August 2021. Does it need to be banned? No. Will it be banned? I highly doubt it. Anyways, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on ADP in the comments, and I will see you next time. Don't know what it's going to be. It'll be a surprise. I'll see you then.